target to look at War Machine multi -ball. Welcome to Classic Game Room where I'm looking at a helicopter. Welcome to Classic Game Room where I'm reviewing Iron Man from Stern, a 2010 release based on the Iron Man movies. But is the pinball machine as good as the movies? Let's find out. Spell Iron Man fast scoring. I R O N M A F. Damn it! I should know how to spell that by now. It's Iron Man, the pinball machine from Stern, another game based on a big budget movie based on a comic book. With bright, lively, modern artwork based on the designs of the movies and advertisements, as well as lots of blinking lights and figures. Iron Man is a very cool looking pinball machine if you ask me. I mean, it's Iron Man, that always helps, he's a cool character, and like Batman, the recent movies have also been very good. It's a good looking machine, but this thing crushed me the same way that Iron Man actually would if I got into a fist fight with him. Most of the gameplay we'll be watching is from the other Mark, the one who's actually good. If you've played any of the other big-budget, movie-based Stern machines lately, like Tron and Transformers, you should be fairly familiar with the flow of the game. But I find Iron Man to be far, far more challenging. It's a merciless machine, and you've got to have great ball control skills to keep the game going. Shooting the various targets numerous times will start things like multi-ball, but if you lose, then you have to start all over the next ball. Now let's watch as Mark shoots Ironmonger repeatedly in the crotch, which is how you defeat comic book bad guys. Just in case you encounter one in a dark alley, bring some pinballs, you know where to throw them. I'm filming today at Papa World Headquarters in Pittsburgh with Mark from Papa, so it's Mark versus Mark. Two-player gameplay, but we're not clones. You're, you're really way better at pinball than I am. But we'll see who wins. Most likely Iron Man. Definitely Iron Man. Iron Man is a nice looking pinball machine. It's easy on the eyes. I like the color palette, but it does lack the old school hand drawn, hand painted style like many of the beloved old school machines. But fans of the movies or comics looking for a bright, loud, seriously challenging pinball machine should check this one out. It's definitely geared towards home collections rather than bars, and they give you a choice between Mickey Rourke on one side and Scarlett Johansson in a skin-tight leather cat suit on the other. So at least you know which side of the machine you'll have exposed if you have this in a line of pinball machines. Spinners to battle. While I don't think it has any ACDC on the soundtrack, you'll need to get the ACDC pinball machine from Stern for that. Iron Man does have a rocking soundtrack and some great sound effects from the movies. I know that Mark and the crew at Papa have this set up for tournament play and think it's a great machine for that because of how it tests players' skills. Now I tend to prefer more casual, old school machines. But this really is right up there with the other cool sterns I've played lately, like Tron and Transformers. Well, that, uh, that went well. It's Iron Man Pinball. Fast, ferocious, and at times it feels like you're getting punched in the face by Iron Man. You come from, uh, 
now that we have pinball machines for Iron Man, Batman, Spider Man. When do we get Aqua Man? Man? Stern Man? Anyone? Stern? Aqua Man? Come on! You know the drill, go for multi-ball, keep the game going, and get a big score. Also, don't tilt the machine or Tony Stark cries. It's Iron Man from Stern. It appears as if you have tilted the game 